Um, I'm going to say a prayer to, to start us off, and then we'll have uh, uh, some of the guys share who were involved in his um, in his Bible studies uh, through the years. Uh, God, thank you so much uh, for this time together. Uh, thank you for giving us this uh, occasion to celebrate uh, Aiden uh, choosing to make you Lord of his life. Mm -hmm. uh, God, I pray yes. that um, you will bless this uh, decision That's fine. and that uh, we can all uh, support him and uh, love up on him and welcome him into your kingdom, God. Uh, I pray that we have a great evening tonight. And just stand for amen. 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 All right. All right. I'll, I'll open this up with some sharing and I, I'll try to be super quick. So I had the great opportunity to, sh to study the Bible with Aiden. And, um, it's really cool because, you know, studying the Bible with the team is sort of like a. Um, a challenge to sort of get them to really understand how to be mature and uh, actually get them to understand the Bible as well. So one of the things that was really impactful for me is really challenging Aiden, giving him challenges that really not only gave him a spiritual insight, but also like built his character. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to share kind of a funny story. Um, <laughs> a challenge, one of the challenges uh, that I gave Aiden was to, you know, be more outgoing in the fellowship to to sort of like instead of hanging out with your you know your normal friends go sit next to somebody new like and this was before church we have studies before church I was like, sit, sit by somebody new today or sit by somebody new at devo and uh it was funny we get in the we get in the service and um we sit, the team sit in the front and we see Aiden sitting by himself in the front row. And, and it was because he was sharing about, he was going to share on stage about what it was. But I, I was just, me and Shalom were looking, we were like, oh my goodness, he took the challenge way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I say that because during this process, I, I loved his, his eagerness to sort of learn and kind of stick in there, even when it was not necessarily like getting there. He was really persevering through all the challenges, through all the rebukes and all the encouragements. I, I really appreciate your endurance and your perseverance. I, I think that's really going to reflect in his walk with God. I really think he's a great example for, for young and old. Just seeing one, the, the ability to make a lifelong decision mm -hmm. at age 16, mm -hmm. but also at the same way to keep working at something. Mm -hmm. And I think being a disciple is always finding something to work on. Mm -hmm. And Aiden, I appreciate you. I think you, and even in our interaction, you you taught me a lot just on how, like how you were humble enough to accept a challenge, to, to be uh, competitive enough to, to fight through it. And say, like, you know what, I'm gonna get this done. I don't care how long it takes. Mm -hmm. But I think that's gonna be a great skill that you develop more and more as you get older. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, at this time, I'm going to have Nathaniel share a little bit. Uh, so I got to start getting to know Aiden a few years ago. And um, about a year ago, we started studying the Bible. And I was like, it was really cool. I was like, I get to study with my best friend. I'm like, um, I get to get him to be like my brother too, instead of just my friend. And... Um, it's just been really impactful for me to like go through the studies again with somebody mm. like besides myself <laughs> and it's like really eye-opening to see other people yep. take yep. the steps to yeah. like, get closer to God mm -hmm. and especially Aiden um, oh. you've just been like very open with like all of your challenges as Solomon said and you've just been very like good with like pursuing God and pursuing like even my relationship with you um, has grown over the last year, like a lot. And mm -hmm. I really appreciate you as a friend. And um, it's really cool how our relationship has like <laughs> grown and I can't wait to see it grow even more. We're gonna have John and Jim share about their son. Come on now. Together. Oh, nice. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> Together. Jen loves speaking in front of people, so. Come on, Jen. Come on, Jen. Come on. 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 Come on.
have so much I want to say to him. Mm. And I'm going to already cry. <laughs> Oh, okay. Come, on, Come on, Jen. Come on, Jen. Come on, Jen. You can do it, Jenny. It's just been such a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's me and your dad. Always have surprised us in everything you do. And you're just such a, a loving person and very compassionate. Mm -hmm. um, in a lot of things you do. Um, how you deal with other people. With kids, even um, with us, um, with my sicknesses, mm -hmm. I've seen your compassion mm -hmm. a lot, um, and you're so helpful with that, and you just impressed me and watched me grow through this and how you deal with the other people and things that have made you struggle or just dealing with situations that have been tough. But you've changed so much, and um, it's going to be much more, but I would just leave you with the scripture. Mm. Um, and it's number six, um, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. Mm. And the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Mm. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Um, Announcements. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, just uh, something that, that I want to share, and, and a few of you know, not a lot of you know, um, so when Jen and I met, I had walked away from God. Uh, mm -hmm. Did not fall away, walked away, broke into a sprint, and was very bitter and angry with God. Mm -hmm. and, and we met, and we got married, um, and this is very much the abbreviated version. Um, <laughs> but Jen was several months pregnant with Aiden. And there was some really challenging results that came back kind of through ultrasounds and things. And some words with some diseases were thrown out. <coughs> and um, that was really gut-wrenching for me. Um, I think what was most gut-wrenching is that it seemed like God's son dying wasn't enough to keep me rooted in my faith. So mm -hmm. God said, I'm going to get your attention another way. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, there were these, these things with Aiden, and I was like, yeah, I, I can't do this. You know, they're, they're, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not built this way. My character is lousy. I can't raise a, a kid like this. And we said some prayers. You know, I've not been going to church, and we prayed on a trampoline in Fowlerville, Michigan, next to the railroad tracks. <laughs> <laughs> and God worked okay. uh, incredibly, but the words that came from the doctors are the ex very exact specific words that we prayed for. And, and as you can see, he's he's healthy. He's kid. Uh, <laughs> it's proof also that God has a sense of humor because he was supposed to be small and diminutive, you know, as a result of all this stuff. And, and, I, um, <laughs> and so I guess what I wanted to impart to you is. That that was, um, even though you weren't doing anything but sitting in a womb, that was obviously incredibly impactful mm. for, for me, for mm. us, for our marriage. <laughs> and so you have been fruitful before you were even born. Wow. So wow. God has, has a divine plan. Yeah. He's been using you for longer than you've been able to speak or talk. Wow. Anything. Awesome. Um, and so I just want to share this uh, scripture with you from Proverbs 23, mm. verse 15. It says, My son... If your heart is wise, then my heart will be glad indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak what is right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're so proud of you. Uh, you have an old soul. Mm -hmm. You're very loving, as your mom said. Um, and it's just, it's been a treasure and a pleasure and a treat. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be my son and also my brother. Yes. Yes. Wow. 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 All right, so a little choked up. Um, so at this time, I'll, I'll read a scripture uh, from Aiden to you guys that you want to share. But Aiden, I just want to let you know, just remember remember this moment. Um, remember this journey. It's been over a year. Uh, this, this can help you in times of weakness and times where you don't remember how God has blessed you with the people. And... Uh, the 
the training that you've gotten over the past years, this this will help you on that path. So Aiden wanted to read um, 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. It says, <clears throat> but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast <coughs> all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. Mm-hmm. And right now, John is going to ask Aiden a few questions. And we'll make our way out to yeah. the back street. Yes. <laughs> so, Aiden, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he came to earth, lived among us, taught and gave us a path for life, was crucified, and died on the cross, and was buried, and rose again three days later to new life? I do. And what is your big confession? Jesus is the Lord. Yeah! yeah. 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 confession uh, your mother and I can now baptize you in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Spirit you'll receive the forgiveness of your sins the Holy Spirit and be added to God's kingdom Same age as me in a year. I know. Come on, man. You're behind me. Oh, yeah, he catches up for you. Well, that's for the joint. Do we need shoes? Uh, I mean, it's you can stand up. You can stand up. No, I got shoes. <laughs> Just a minute. Oh. Well, this is gonna be a while. Hey, Logan, can you ask your brother if he has a candle? Go out the back. Right now? Right now? Right now? Right now? Right now? Right now? It's happening, guys. Not now. It's happening. Don't go back. Keep the light. Stay up. Keep the shoes and go. Yeah. It's going to be like a hoop concert for a long time. I'm sorry. What is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Oh man. Oh man. You're saying how you wouldn't be able to find these. You go ahead. I'm not going to cut it. You go ahead too. No, oh, I've got all day. Well, no, you got to get there, man. Get well, I'm first. retired, man. Man, all the good shoes are gone. I got to take my old ones. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was wondering what pair I could select. Nobody will take mine. I think mine was the last one. I think mine was the last one. I guess. Oh, man, right here, back here. Yeah. I know it's got to be Jonathan. <laughs> Dustin. Yeah. Yeah, Sam. I just have to get the closet. <laughs> Mine will be the last one. Did Dustin go out without his shoes on? I guess don't go. Are you waiting? It just means my Okay, you can turn that Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, can we go that way? Oh. You can. You can look at it. I'm going that way. Okay, let's go that way. That way it is. Ugh. Is that Jaden? Hey, you know, I got famous back here. Hey, somebody shut this door because. Hey, Jaden. Yeah. Remember when we got famous back here? Oh, you got some cookies? Get out of here. <laughs> 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 You guys could not get in front of me. I got here first. <laughs> this is John's fault. 